Stevenson finishes on a 1-1 draw with Mary Washington today. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, your team handles adversity really well. I'm sure you'd rather not play from behind, but what does it say about your group that they have battled back so often these last couple weeks? Yeah, it's funny. You know, I used to worry about going to goal down. Now I'm like just like mad we're going to goal down because I know these guys can come back. So, you know, great effort from them again. You know, I didn't think I thought it was a high foot and then I thought it was outside the box. But whatever, it's PK, can't do anything about it. They put it away and then it was great that we actually showed some fight second half because I thought our first half wasn't our best performance, especially coming off a nice win Saturday. And uh, it was good to get a tie in the end, to be honest. It seemed like it was a strategy with the direct ball. Obviously, that's what created the goal for, for uh, Demata Ribeiro. But was it a change in philosophy in the second half and saying, hey, let's put that down there and see if we can't make something happen? Well, you know what? i got to give credit to my assistant coach, Bill Kerr. So he does all the scouts. He watches all the opposition video. He had them scouted. He gave them it b before the game. They just didn't listen to him. Huh. So huh. we had a little chat at huh. halftime about what the scout was, and, he, and, they, and they came through, and that's what exa exactly what it was. It was a strategy that we had from the beginning. We didn't do it at the start, <laughs> and uh, we finally got it second half, which was good. Better late than never. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, right. Uh, you get conference play now, starting on Saturday. The the biggest difference for this team right now, still, that you need to see in order to be able to, to shift into the gear that you need to for a successful season in conference play. You know, I've said it all along. It's 90 minute performances. It's that first 15 minutes of each half. Um, you know, when we're losing goals, it's it's playing all the way to the 90th minute, which I think we're showing actually pretty well. It's not making mistakes and giving up goals like we did today. And then it's being ruthless. I mean, we could have had two goals off set pieces. Um, you know, BP at the bar, Chris with his downward header don't know how that doesn't go in but you know these are the things you need to do in conference and and you know one four and five in conference at a conference is is you know you know we would like to uh, turn those ties into wins um not too disappointing because we're coming off a win and a tie against a very good team today and uh, now his conference is zero zero so we told him every conference game now is so important and it has to be 90 minute performances and i don't want to wrap up without talking about your defense because i thought your defense was really solid throughout the day that's a really powerful uh, offense that you're facing kirkland scored seven goals this season it seemed like you guys are really up to the task today. Yeah, apart from a couple of opportunities in the penalty, we didn't really give up much. I know I, we limited them to a lot of shots from outside the box. I mean, I thought our, our defense and our goalkeeper did an outstanding job of limiting them. And, uh, you know, all credit to them. I get, you know, a lot of them played a lot of minutes and they uh, they matched up, especially with Mary Washington, their high tempo offense. And the fact that they sub a lot, they just keep running at you and our guys held up pretty well. And that's a sign of the fitness from all these really strong games that we played non-conference wise. All right, coach. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations on a result. We will see you back here on Saturday. We'll take it, right? No doubt. That's Graham Miller. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.